Oh, baby. Here we go. We got a brand new patch. We got new characters. We got Advent Dungeon going down in stamina, up in rates. We got Tyrion, one of the characters in a brand new event. And we got Give Us Your Money! What's going on guys? We got a brand new patch coming in on 919 and as I said scrolling through this very quickly there has absolutely nothing to do with <laughs> the costumes and like I've been saying you're probably going to see that on October 3rd the first Wednesday of the month they do stuff monthly just a heads up I've been saying that in other videos but I know a lot of people just watch these videos let's go over really quickly before we go in depth in deep and in depth we got the subjugator Janice which will be in a separate video uh, stalking stringer Taryn is in separate videos two new characters and you guys know I love me some new characters and we'll look through that and we'll see how they uh, perform I did not know that Janice is a hybrid though holy shit Hybrid, new hybrid dark character. I don't know how many of those that we have, but hey, that's cool. Hopefully, hopefully he brings a bunch of CC. And Tyrion is a water attacker, so look forward to that. So also, like I said, uh, the, the new banner is going to be Janice, Mary, Ashley, and Ramu is going to be on that new banner. And the 100 day celebration, which I have here in one of these stupid tiles. Here it is. Oh, uh, well, no. This is the this is the I want your money package. These packages are probably going to cost way too much. You're already pissed at the game because of costumes. So I just brought this up to let people know that I do want to drop the dough that they do have that 900 crystal pack pa packle? package. And then this one's like 680. You know, whatever. They're, they're probably not too cost efficient. They normally never are. Uh, just a heads up. Unless you really just want this, uh, this the crystals or the badges or whatever. And as you can see here, uh, when you see them talking about the fact that, hey man, do you want some stuff for your costumes? I'm telling you guys that the costumes are, not only are they here to stay, is that they are definitely going to keep working on it. Whether it goes in our favor or not is completely going to be uh, to de be desired. We do not know. But just let you know that the costume stuff is definitely here to stay. Um, this is the Tyrion event. I'm going to explain that in a second. That's actually uh, pretty much... Actually, this is the 100 day special celebration. So let me explain this right quick. Tyrion is a pretty much a new character. Uh, so uh, I don't have it up right. Actually, I think if I click this one, we'll be able to see it. She's pretty much a new character. Boom. There you go. She's a water attacker, like I said. So her event... I don't know if this is permanent. I'm pretty sure she looks like she's going to be a character that you only get through these means, but it seems that that would kind of be weird, uh, but it's through the mission diary. Completing these missions, and if you keep completing these missions, you will obtain this character. I'll scroll down really quickly just so uh, we know. It takes 120 to acquire her. Now, I'm going to also let you guys know that pretty much all of this is advent based. Uh, this is clearing hard advents, blah, 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 10 times. Nightmare advents up to 10 times. And this is, uh, what is this, end with 40. And as you can see, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I didn't count this out. Maybe, no, I actually won't. I was going to say, maybe I'll do it for you guys, and I'm not. Um, I would like to, I'll probably eventually do it just to see, like, how much this costs. And um, maybe we'll see how much it actually costs. You know what? I'm just going to, we're going to whip out the calculator. And we're just going to showcase. Because I want to know if I can max skill this chick. <laughs> I highly doubt they're going to give us that many. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And that's going to be 110. So 110 from the first mission. So we can't. So you finish this, you still don't have her. So you got to go to the second one, right? And that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, and then 60. So 60, right? And then we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 60, another 60. It looks like that might be what the rest of them are. We don't know. We don't know. We will find out. 230. And again, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Boom, boom, another 60. And then the fifth mission, same thing. And then the sixth mission, same thing. Seven minutes mission, same thing. Eighth, eighth, it changes. Okay, so 10, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 120. 
And then the ninth is the same thing is another 120. So 710, which is really weird because I'm pretty sure if I divide that by 120, which I will do in a second, let me just make sure we got all of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's nine. So we I calculated all that right. Divide that bad boy by 120. And we have five and really close to six copies. Um, which is so fucked up because at least at least I don't know what Tyrion does or Tyron or however we're gonna say her name um, I wish it, you're gonna be slightly short now uh, Maybe there'll be daily missions. Oh, let's let's read this as well mission achievement rewards will be a minute blah, blah. once you complete a mission You will not receive the rewards uh, blah 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 and then achieve the same mission Tyrion uh, obtained through the exchange will be sent to now will stay for seven days event It's kind of weird though because if I did the math and I mean what did it need to be? 720? Cause 720, I think 720 goes into, maybe I did calculate that wrong. Six. It would be weird. I probably calculated it wrong. Maybe I did my math too quickly. Someone, someone let me know if you can get six copies. I would prefer, obviously everyone should know you need 16, the unit and then the unit, uh, you want to max skill all three. It's probably, maybe I did the math somewhere wrong here. Or maybe that this this works slightly differently that you get another 10 somewhere because I we're missing 10 somewhere I might have miscalculated somewhere but hey you get this chick and you're I'm assuming you're gonna get six so you're gonna be able to max one skill out at least based on what I just saw unless there is a way unless you get unless you get 720 every day like you can do this every day I don't think so I don't really see a thing where it's saying that you can get it oh if you complete all the missions you <laughs> I just wasted my time Fuck! Whatever. That's cool. Uh, you can click on until the next update, but you must exchange them. For the so, that's kind of weird, though. I, I, she's not an advent herself. Unless maybe she's a she'll, she's going to be a new multiplayer advent. It's just really weird to have a, a, a new unit come up like this. And I feel like that's the only way for you to get her. Or is she an advent herself? I just don't know. Maybe I'm missing something in the notes. But for, as far as I can see in the notes, um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Also, we have the new um, event for the third event, um, fighting a guild battle, doing an advent dungeon. Also, it's going to net you 10 crystals a day. Make sure you're doing that. Obviously, the Janus skill ups are here, Mary skill ups, Ashley skill ups, and uh, not skill ups, but leveling these characters up. Also, going to give you crystals. So, if you get any dupes, or if you have a dupe, I actually have a Mary dupe. Um, not a Mary dupe, but I have a Mary. So, I'm going to level her up. I'm going to have some Ash, and I'll get some crystals and some Evolve Mons for doing so. So, it's a little bit nice that you do it now than to do it any other time. And these are just that standard stuff right there. And the Advent Dungeon stuff is great. This is when the it gets it's cheaper to do Advents and the drop rate goes up. I actually this time around, um, it's gonna be great because I'll I'll probably get as much as I need for Tayo. I'll get as much as I need for Kali, and then I'm gonna just stock up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just stock up and for other characters. But in the, you know, I don't really need too many built characters, but this was where I can actually have some fun. So this is a great time to, and this is probably why they're hustling the crystals, by the way, to probably get people to buy more stamina pots and uh, dungeon tickets to really utilize how much they can get out of it. Obviously, this is a great time to do uh, Advent uh, Star 1s because for this chick, and then you would just get a whole bunch of copies and four star fodder and run it down, you know? So that's pretty much that's pretty much the update outside of the new to two new characters. So yeah, there's not much else out of that, so that's pretty good. I can't wait to see. I remember when I saw I saw a picture of her like months, I feel like a month or two ago, and I was like, oh, I want to use her. <laughs> and it's good to have another water attacker. Kind of sucks that this uh, we had we were dying for water attackers in Nikita, and then they release it afterwards. It would have been funny. Would have been better if they maybe released her here and then released um, Verdandi now, and then like I don't know, whatever. We'll, we'll see. We'll look at her. And then of course we have Janice, the the young boy, the young man. We're gonna check out the young man. That's all gonna be in a separate video. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, this update. And again, this is um, sorry. This is a patch, and I've like I, I've been trying to let people know that there's a difference. At least they consider it to be a difference between a a patch and an update. This is just a patch. This is a, they do like weekly patches or like biweekly patches, um, but this is not an update. Updates are monthly, and that's where they're gonna change everything and all that good jazz. But that's pretty cool. I think that that's nice. We're getting two new characters. I think everyone was just expecting Janice, but not Tyrion at the same time. We got the advent up, and that's pretty good. That's pretty good if you're still playing a game and you wanted to have something to do, and at least the drop rates will be better. I've been seeing so many people complain about the drop rates. So, boom, here you go. Your drop rates are a little bit up. 
And I like, they were smart enough. They gave all you the good juicy information. And I was like, oh, by the way, can we get a $100 limited package if you, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna go away if you need it. Uh, bye now, motherfucker.